Welcome back after dominating on the regional circuit. Phoenix's Marcus Maniac McGee jumped at the chance for his first UFC fight on just three days notice. It turned into an enormous payday. And as David Caltabiano tells us, what's even more unlikely is his journey to the cage. Marcus McGee used to fight without the gloves. But I was so hurt and so confused in life that it was hard for me to direct that. As a child, the Detroit native didn't have an outlet for his anger, an upbringing spent with a single mom, and a father who was in prison for most of his life. Moving to several different homes throughout his time in the Valley, Marcus didn't end up with many pictures during that time. I came from not the, the best, not the hardest, not the easiest background, but I always liked that Jake Cole said that some of his friends up the street had it worse, and I, I truly believe that. Skateboarding tattoos, his wild fight style and behavior growing up, as well as this book, garnered his nickname Maniac. But things have changed since he stepped in this gym. The 33-year-old will tell you he approaches the fight game with balance, calculated violence, and even empathy for his opponents. Your nickname is Maniac. That doesn't sound so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as I'm not as crazy as before. You know, uh, I still embody that. I say it all the time. There's a monster in me. A lot of people who know me, you know, through know me through the years, know that there's the monster in me, and I've done so much uh, work on myself to become this refined version of what the Maniac is. And even though Maniac has six knockouts in the regional scene, he was overlooked by major promotions until last month when UFC bantamweight's Journey Newsom, a skilled Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter, was looking for an opponent after his pulled out. Marcus stepped in on just three days notice, pushed a relentless pace, won striking exchanges, and finished the fight by rear naked show. He was one of just four fighters that night, gifted a $50,000 performance bonus. Marcus, the maniac! It's an amazing feeling because it's like, you know, I accomplished everything that I want to accomplish. The now UFC athlete who has three fights remaining on his new contract. Yeah, so many different moments I could have took the wrong turn and been and not been here, you know, and it's like I've been I've had plenty of opportunities to do that. And for some reason, the opportunity didn't line up with my calling, apparently. The fighter says he is the father to his four kids he always needed growing up, a child who used to bounce city to city has found his permanent home at Phoenix's MMA lab while providing the house to his wife and children. I wasn't gonna sacrifice them. It's one of the most important things in my life is to make sure that they have every opportunity to, to have a loving, caring, compassionate father. The maniac has a message to the Valley's youth who may be fighting outside of the gym like he used to. As cliche as it sounds, I'd say believe in yourself. Do everything that you wanna do. Do it all full hearted, right? Give your heart to it, try to be the best that you can in it, and be and be effective in it, and, and the sky's the limit. In Phoenix, I'm David Coltibiano for Arizona's Family.